Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperium Galactic Survival. This is your host Zlot, and I am here today on the Geek Tech Industry server, Alpha 7. Um, uh, God, what episode is this? Oh my God. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, hmm, it's up there. Um, it's less than 20? Uh, <laughs> oh my god, okay. Uh, yeah, I just suck at that. So, whoa, speaking of sucking, sucking at parking also, apparently. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Okay, the, uh, the storm is kind of irritating. You can go away anytime, thank you. Uh, so last episode, at the end of the episode, <clears throat> I came back and started smelting all the gold down, and I eventually refined that down to coins. So the one thing I did discover uh, was it is not as much as I originally thought because each ingot of gold requires five ore so that was like 11 about 11 stacks of ore so let's say 11,000 11,000 ore actually only translated into about um tw just 2200 or something gold ingots which is still pretty decent a couple a little more than two stacks and I refined that down and this is what it turned into this <clears throat> so because each each ingot refines into like five coins I think and then each coin is worth 50 credits so this is going to be a whole, whole ton of credits, not the not the millions that I thought at first because I didn't realize the cost of a of an ingot is actually five ore as opposed to all other resources where it's like ten ingots for five ore, right? So so it's actually only ten percent of the amount of ingots you get out of gold ore as opposed to any other ore so keep that in mind um, now because each one is worth 50 credits <clears throat> that actually is so basically what what happens is when you turn it all into gold coins to be simple it each coin costs one ore one gold ore is how that works out so that's a direct translation. You'll get one coin per gold ore. As long as you got five gold ore, you can turn it into a to an ingot. Um, and then each coin is worth fifty. So basically, take how many ore you have, multiply that by fifty. And that's how many credits you're going to get out of that ore stack of gold. So that's the that's the overall simple math turned into credits. Okay, Storm, you're like crashing right over my head. It's so annoying. Go away already. Desert solitude, my ass. Where's the solitude in this radiated fog? Okay, now i got to run back in really quick. And, oh, smoke under the wall. Oops. Yeah, yeah, I forgot it doesn't. Anyway, uh, so I think we're going to cash those in right now and see how much that's worth. I think it's worth about 500,000 credits. So let's take a look. Right now I currently got almost 20. I'm four credits shy of 25,000. Okay, so let's, let's start with the first stack is, oh yeah, a huge chunk, and that wasn't even a full stack, so this is, I'm gonna be rich, woo, look at this, it's major credits, 
Yeah, nice. So this is going to be about half a mil or so. I'm going to be sitting at when all is said and done. Yeah. 561,246 credits. All right. Okay, that's like five suits of heavy armor. Hmm. So putting it in perspective, it's really not that much. <clears throat> okay, well. Uh, that's good. That's cool, because I don't think I have much heavy armor, and I could go buy some now. 500, and this is definitely the most credits I've ever had playing this game. <laughs> that was a big, that was a big ore score. Uh... Huh. Not sure if I'm going to keep that in in Alpha 8. That was, um... Hmm. Yeah, that was a lot of credits. Not sure. Not sure about the feels on that yet. Eh. Is that going to unbalance the potential economy when people f get a big score like that? <clears throat> hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure. Because uh, the only other way to get <clears throat> that sort of crazy money uh, from gold is like doing doing all of the quests. And even then you don't even get that kind of money. You'll get like maybe, I don't know, maybe 60 or 70,000 credits in total from cashing in all the gold coins, maybe. I don't know. I don't... I don't not sure if I've ever done all the quests but we're gonna actually try and that's actually one of the things we're gonna start doing here again is now that we're rich we can like <clears throat> sorry I got a frog in my throat really bad right now it's... okay <clears throat> okay let's take care of uh, so, okay, we got rid of all that gold, that's good, and I think I've already kind of stripped everything out of here that, that I want to take with me. Uh, I'll leave some behind, right? You know? It's quite a bit. Uh, do I need more iron? I don't think I need any more. I don't think I need any more. I think I stocked up. So, we're going to leave this guy behind. We're going to leave the hover box behind. This is my original spawned vehicle right from the get-go. It has never died yet. Came pretty close. Came real close once. Core exposed and beat up even. Uh, but it survived and it's grown. And it's now retired. <laughs> at least for now. Uh, I'll leave it for teammates to come and. So that leaves this base a hover vehicle and a. Well, not a very good. It's not a sealed SV anyway. It's not. It's not airtight. So you gotta. You gotta have an Eva to use that one. Anyway. Let's head out on the CB because we need to go and get some more of these quests done, or at least try to. So let's close the door really quick here. <clears throat> and what do we have in these guys? Make sure that they are doing okay on stuff. Let's just top up all this. Okay, good. So the bus is ready. Oh, it says that it's damaged. I'm not sure. It's probably just a block somewhere. Okay. Not a biggie. And how's this guy doing for ammunition? So it's got lots of missiles. It's got no shells. So no artillery shells. Hmm. I should make some of those and more 15 mil bullets. So let's go into the ammo. <clears throat> let's 
So let's build some bullets. So we'll get some more 15 mil. And we're gonna need artillery shells, right? So what's that take again? Takes artillery shell HV. Okay, well that makes sense. There it is there. So four, five magnesium powder. Okay, I got lots of magnesium powder. Potential steel plate, oscillator, how we doing on the magnet on the Neo, lots of Neo, okay, so so I, yeah, we can afford to make a, a bunch of those right now. If we make 10, 20, there's a hundred of them. I mean a hundred, that's a lot of shots. It takes forever to shoot one. It's like 13 or 14 seconds between. <clears throat> Am I going to need more than that in one excursion? Probably not. Not really sure how big they stack. Oh, let's do 40 then. It might take forever to make those though. So, you know what? It, it will take forever. Let's just... Let's just do 10 for now. You know, 50, 50 is enough. I don't think I'm going to need 50. If, I, if I'm going to use it, it'll be to like target generator on a base, I guess. Now that you can't target the core, right? Target the generator, pop the generator, and then just wander in, kill the guys that have spawned, if any. Yeah. It's a, it's a thing. You sit back and do nothing in the HV, let it kill the turrets, let it kill the generator. <laughs> and then you just kind of wander in, clean up. And then you jump back in the HV and uh, multi-tool it all down after you pop the core. That's uh, going to be the plan. Oh, and that reminds me, we need to make another HV multi-tool. Unless I did make one already. Let's take a look. <clears throat> what did I put in here? Got nothing. Okay, so I think I need to carry a multi-tool with me. And it's doing that jiggy jiggy video thing when you got something too close behind you and you're zoomed back there we'll just go like that for now so let's see what's it gonna cost uh, actually this is not the one I want I'm a builder so let's go in here and multi turret HV Saskosium alloy. Yeah, I can pull that off. Okay. So we'll make that, we'll just store it for now. I'll probably end up using it actually before I even use the artillery turret, really, to tell you the truth. <clears throat> but we'll see. Okay, and I still got some more. Oh yeah, I've got the other auto miners out there to pick up. Uh, we'll leave them for a bit. We can go get them later. We've got enough pentaxid for now. They were on pentaxid deposits, and I think we'll just let them run and drain the deposits. Okay, so well, I think we need to leave. We need to leave this planet. We need to escape and get away. We need to go somewhere else. So let's do that. <clears throat> okay. I just want to zoom out here. I like uh, I like flying it uh, with the external view. It's just I just find it easier. Let's uh, pee into it, and we're going to turn the engines on. We might as well turn the turrets on, too, and the oxygen. Okay, we're ready to rock and roll. Let's head. Or what's our... Do we have any damage? A little bit. 
Any devices or just blocks? Oh, a minigun turret. And a rocket turret. <clears throat> it's not too bad right now. We can... That was probably from drones, I guess? Or... Oh, you know what? It was... It was flying back to dirt from the previous mission. I took out a little space POI, right? Where, where was that now? God, I can't even remember. That's, that's sad. Anyway, let's get out of here. And once again, super loud, <laughs> super loud. <clears throat> Actually, I'm, I gotta do something about that. Let's go into the audio. Just turn that down a little bit. Okay. A little more tolerable. Let's put our night vision on so we can actually see. And we'll take off. vision off. <clears throat> okay. So, we actually want to go to Omicron eventually here. So let's take a look. Well, we gotta head out this way, so let's just go there quickly here. And that is down there, so we'll just get up to speed. And we're instantly up to speed in this thing. <laughs> I love that. Just tap the button and boom, 91. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh my god, it's like, I love that. Just, it's, yeah, pretty, pretty quick. Pretty quick from standstill. So not bad. <clears throat> not instant, but but pretty darn good. Okay, uh, anyway, stop playing around with that. Let's do this. And we're going to head down to here to Oscar Tune. Okay, where is Omicron? I think it was around here. So then we'll head down to Trading Outpost and Asus. Okay. So let's, oops, let's relock on Oscatoon and head there. Okay, and then we're going to lock on to trading. And we'll probably have to go into the control panel and fill this up again. Yep. Okay, and it's right there, so we'll just go there. And now we're trading outpost. Let's head to Aestus. So I haven't been there yet. <clears throat> we'll find out what's there in the way of resources. So let's go. And it's down here. And go. Okay. Oh, that's that's cool looking. That's really cool looking. It's really dark, except for right there. Interesting. Okay. I like the look of the planet though. It looks like it's just a fireball. So let's take a look to see what's here. Uh, in the space here, we have silicone, sathium, and cobalt. Okay. And then on the planet, we have 
iron, promethium, cobalt, sathium, neo, and gold. Uh, with depletion meteorites of neo, sath, and promethium. So neo, sath, depletion meteorites here on Aestus. So that's not too bad. Okay. There's Omicron. So Omicron, 15. Okay. Let's do it. Now there was a, we had to get close to the trading station there, I think. So let's do that. And conquer alien bases. Yeah. So we should actually flip that really, or not blueprint, sorry, PDA. Flip that to dangerous space, is it? Yes. So we'll activate that one and we'll head there. Okay, so let's take a look. This will be starting planet resource. Uh, yeah, so asteroids of silicone and iron out in space, not much. Wow. Okay, and then on Omicron, the planet, copper, iron, silicone, promethium. And same thing as depletion meteorites. So pretty much starting planet resources there. Uh, the moon has cobalt with the pre depletion cobalt. So that's where the cobalt comes from is the moon. And pentaxid depletion meteorites also. Okay. Okay, so we could come here to farm Pentaxid potentially. Um, that's not a bad idea. It's PvP. Well, I don't want my. Yeah, I don't want them getting smashed. That's not. Although I could just go there and mine it myself. Yeah, that's true. Okay, anyway. So there's some new planets. Rogery. Rogery? Rogery? I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. So, looks like it has space and one planet. And then another one called Sienna. Okay. Well, uh, we're here. So, I think we need to find the trading station. So, Omicron trading station. It should be that direction. So I just want to keep my eye out for red dots, red arrows in my own. Is that that trading station coming up there? That probably is. Oh, or okay, there's something else in orbit too. Is the other thing moving? I'm not sure if, okay, so this is the trading station. I'm not sure what the other thing is though. Carrier. Well, I guess we're taking on the carrier. So let's let's switch to our, what do we got here? Yeah, I didn't even bother with those. So I got my rocket launchers here. So let's make sure that we're ready to rock and roll here. We'll go into our control panel, make sure that our turrets are set here properly. I think I already have checked this out, but so I've got my artillery set to generator. Okay. Okay. So, right. Let's fuel that up. We'll grab this stuff and or not fuel it up, but uh, we'll fill all and okay. So, oh, wait the 
Yeah, I needed that. Okay, so that was actually for the HV, and that wouldn't have actually loaded. <laughs> what? Why did I grab that and try and shove that in my CV? I don't know, but it took the took the bullets, of course. That's okay. I'll need the bullets anyway. Let's just kill this thing. So, can we get can we get credit for this first? Let's see. Yep. Okay, so what is my distance? 530. Let's see where... Well, I guess... Uh, oops, I missed. Come on. Uh, yeah. Get a little closer. So I think we close to taking out the... Oh! Oh, there's a... Uh, there's turrets right there, so... Right there. And... <laughs> okay. So... Is there anything left? Just more drones. Oh, it's going after the generator. Yeah, it's going after the generator because it can't target the... Okay, so what is there? What's it targeting? It's going for somewhere here. I'll help him out. Oh. oh. Did it go dark there? Oh yeah, look at that. It went dark. I think my artillery turrets took out the generator. Okay, so... Fuel tanks. Yeah, it took out the... Uh... Okay, okay, well that's cool. Let's try and find the core then. Um... What I really should be doing is looting these space drones and not really worrying about all that crap. But there could be some good, there could be armor in there for me to loot, right? So I think I need to pop the core on this thing. Oops, I keep getting stuck on it. Let's, um, let's level off and then let's drone it up. So we'll jump out. Um, I guess I could I could turn the I could turn the gravity on. There we go. Okay, now I'll drone it up. Let's go take a look. My ship will defend itself for the most part. Oh, it took some damage on the windows here. Barely anything. Or else that'd be... I mean, that's like a that's like a glancing blow, really, when they're only cracked that much. I'll repair that later. I want to I wanna try and pop the core on this really quick so that I can um, start multi-tooling out stuff and get loot. Oh, did I like destroy all the cargo boxes on this thing? Oh my god, did I? Um, whoops. Okay, okay, well then the core should be easy to find, right? Like, what the hell?
Uh, I think that's right under in there, up there, or something like that. Yeah, I think I remember this thing. Okay, so I gotta try and jump out and do this. What are we at? Negative 48 to 83. I need to find an EVA boost. So let's go into my cargo box here and boost, boost. We'll grab an EVA and we'll go back into my equipment. We'll just jump into one of these. Doesn't really matter. Uh, I'll just swap out one of these multi with it. Okay. And let's go check it out. Oops. Turn my jetpack on. Come on. Get out. Here we go. And we'll go pop the core. Where did I see that again? It was... Nope, that's the bottom. It's right here. And we go down through here, and up through here, and over through here, and up through here, and... Uh, oh, do I not have anything that can blow that up? I didn't make anything that can blow that up. Okay, so let's make some ammo really quick. We'll just go over here, and make some. We'll make some explosives. Three, four. Five. <clears throat> Come on. One more. Thank you. Uh, we'll just put my auto miners down. Okay, let's go blow this thing up. So let's try... Oops, turn my light on. Let's try... I'm thinking... Can we do it there? No, we can do it on the surface there. So one there, and one there, and we'll just back off. and see if this does it. think it did. Well, let's try multi-tooling. That'll tell us. Uh, sure. Yep. Yep. We popped the core. We popped the core. Okay. So let's see what we got. Eh. Need armor. 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 Ah. <sighs> Armor, armor, armor. Is that it for loot? Of course you're empty. Oh, can't pick it up. Okay, so let's... So what I want to try is... Let's take a look at... Putting this turret on... Oh wait, that's not the right, that one's for the HV, right? I was going to make one for the CV, and I forgot to. <sighs> okay, so this shouldn't take long, hopefully. Let's see. Uh, the multi-tool, oops, it'll be this one. Multi-tool for CV, HV, CV, there we go. Ten Zascosium alloy, jeez! Okay, that was a little pricey. Two oscillators, one power coil. Okay. Oh well. You gotta pay for the expensive toys with good stuff. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well I'm in here. I guess I can put this and this. That, and that, 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 that in there. Hell, I can put that, 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 that in there. Come on. It's not going to go in. It's not going to, it's too full. 
Wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. And I, I ended up getting the entire large constructor off that zap. Well, that was pretty good. That's kind of a score all on its own. Okay. Let's uh, put this on. So oh, I grabbed the wrong one again. I, I have some fixation with that HV one. Okay, so let's do this. No more dawdling that this thing's going to despawn pretty quick here. So, um, so I'm just going to take it off right away again, right? So, can I just put it right on top of the existing? Sure. Let's do that. <laughs> let's do that. Okay. We'll go back here. We'll go back in. We'll just fly in upside down and jump in the seat. <clears throat> okay. Get unstuck. And let's see how this performs now. So we should be able to just go into the multi turret and set it to... We'll try disassemble for full blocks. And... Nice, nice. Nice. Great thing about multi-tooling in space is you don't actually lose any blocks due to structural integrity failure like you do with uh, with bases on planets. So that's, that's really handy. And it looks like, wow, I'm getting really good range out of this thing too, right? So. Get my little zap. I don't know what that is, but I can't get it. Okay. So we'll just get as much as this thing as we can. I don't think it really had any weapons that I didn't already shoot off, so... So this is a really nice addition to the game, this tool that they added for CVs and HVs. I, I love it. Um, come on, can I? Yes. I think it's brilliant. Come on, can I get it? Can I, yep, okay, so, oh, I'm, okay. So I'm actually aiming way past it, okay. So the range, okay, so, okay. Okay, the range is actually really massive. Look at this, I'm reaching all way the way to the other corner. Wow. 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 So I can like just drill right through, right to the other side. Yep. Sascosium alloy, nice. Getting that repair bay before this thing destabilizes and disappears. Get as much as the stuff as I can. I'm gonna lose the fuel at this point. I really don't care. I'm, it's all about the speed. And those, the other stuff, I'm just gonna have to try getting in a bit. I want to get the, I want to get the really expensive bits here. The engines and stuff like that. They have power coils and I don't really care so much about the rest of the stuff, but and there was no warp drive in there, I think I killed it. So that's kind of unfortunate. Okay, so I do want to get thrusters. Oh I can't aim lower. Can't aim any lower. So there's some thrusters there. Okay. Yeah. Keep getting these things. Might have to re 
reposition this to try and get some of the thrusters on the other side and at the back really quick. I'm going to lose all the components, I think, unless I try grabbing them really quick here. Where's all the goodies? Here we go. Oh, food? Really? Eh, taxid. Come on, armor. Nice! Well, medium, but... Oh, that was kind of funny. Come on, armor. Boom, armor. Uh, okay, what's in here? Nothing. Did I get everything then? Yeah. Oh, no. Minigun and multi boost okay good good is there anything over here no okay let's keep multi-tooling and oh come on get get in the cockpit thank you and then uh we, let's find the engines so that we can multi-tool them really quick here not really sure where the engines are. Did I like kill all the engines? I think I killed the engines. Oh, there's a couple there. Okay, so let's let's jump in the turret. And I like how fast it is jumping into it because you're still sitting in the cockpit. You don't have to get out of the cockpit to jump into it. So little bonus there. And get as much of this as possible here before it disappears. I got to keep an eye on my uh, my harvest boxes because I could actually fill it up doing stuff like this pretty quick. So I'll have to take a look at there in it. Well, I'll just dump everything. Oh, I can't fit it in my... I don't really know what to do with all this stuff at this point. <laughs> I guess make ammo with it? I don't know. Maybe I'll make a base. I don't know. Or another CV, maybe a space base. Huh. Try and get all this as much as possible. Come on. Oh, those were the spawn blocks. So yeah, these uh, multi-tool turrets are are pretty awesome. I really like them. It's really, <clears throat> really, really raking the resources quickly. And from from a large distance. And the nice thing is, is because I am in the driver's seat. So let's say, let me just get all this really quick here over here. See lots of stuff there. I'm in the driver's seat I can really quickly reposition so I can just go like this reposition and get back in and just keep going 
So yeah, this is uh, a massive resource score, I guess. Don't really, I mean, I guess I'll ma I'll turn it all into a base, bases, so make it into blocks, I guess, I guess. I'm just trying to get all the rare ore stuff, really, so any sort of thrusters, RCS, um, that sort of stuff. I mean, obviously the hardened steel is nice. This thing's a massive <laughs> CV, really. I mean, it's much big, bigger than uh, than what we're sitting in. But it's you know AI and limited weaponry had no chance against. <laughs> against me it was kind of I mean I think I got hit once I think I did I don't know didn't really feel it if I did so meh gonna probably pop pretty soon I'm guessing although I couldn't I didn't remember seeing the message although this is a carrier and not a freighter so again I'm not sure And I think as long as I leave some blocks, it'll regen, so if somebody else wants to rape and pillage it, so to speak. Okay, let's look for goodies. I want goodies. sure how much good stuff is left in this thing now it's really disappearing here I don't know I don't really know if it's really worth going after the rest of this stuff at this point probably not probably not There's one There's one backpack, so to speak, that I haven't checked, so let's do that really quick. Meh. <sighs> well, the loot from it was disappointing. I probably lost a bunch. But, uh, eh, it is what it is. I wasn't really expecting much. I mean, hell, it's a starter planet carrier. <laughs> There's not going to be much to it. Uh, yeah, so I would say let's take a look at... I'll just get out of this. Get back into our pilot seat here. Just so there's no shenanigans. And... That's funny, it's registered as a as an enemy still. Yeah, it's not much of a threat anymore. I'm sorry to say, but it I Oh, there's thrusters there. Is that thrusters? That's thrusters. Okay. We're not gonna just sit there and let those sit. No sorry. Oh, 
Okay. Can't get to that one. Yeah. Reposition. Jump back in. Whoa. Did I get this one in front of me? No, no. Darn. <laughs> About any of this? No? Too close? Oh, I got it, whatever it was. Come on. And really? So just too close, eh? Too close? Darn. Okay, so let's back out of there. We'll try this again. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. Oh, this thing has definitely seen better days. I would say running into me was the worst thing that ever happened to it. Oh, we've got something over there. Let's go check that out. And a boost, which I can't grab. Well, I'll just put in my bar. Okay. Huh. Let's eat some stuff. Looks like I'm really hungry, and I've got food on me about to spoil, so let's just eat it. Well, it's not about to spoil, but it's, it's spoiling. It's going to spoil eventually. We'll just eat it. Let's put some stuff away here. Uh, well, we'll see if I can stick some stuff in here. Let's. No. Okay. We'll go into here. Just put that in the blocks for now. Uh, we'll hold on to that. And, okay. So that goes into... Where are we here? That one goes into the smelter. So that and that. And is that it? So yeah, we've got a, oh God, we've got a ton of a restroom. We have a ton of a restroom. And a fair amount of Zascosium. We'll go through way more restroom. So we've got as much ammo as we can possibly make, really, at this point. Uh, I do need to get more Neo and Sath, funny enough. Um, I don't think we're going to be too bad on iron. Let's take a look at our harvest box here. So, huh. Not that much. Is that, like, overflow in from the other one? Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, really? That just, uh. but okay. So yeah, wow. Uh, Multi-tooling down. So this is all from multi-tooling the, uh, the freighter. So I ended up with 10 power coils. Uh, a whole bunch of Zascosium alloy, some Zascosium ingots and a restroom in ingots. A whole bunch of flux coils and oscillators from all the thrusters. Uh, so that's huge. Not too many capacitor devices, though. So not a big score on capacitor devices, which are actually really, really expensive to make for Neo and Sathium. I think it, it takes like 20 Neo, 8 Sathium, and 8 Cobalt, I think, to make each capacitor device. I might be wrong, but that's I think that's what it used to be. So, so they were like super expensive. And uh, yeah, that's actually how I spawn my first CV is with a small stack of those things. Anyway, uh, okay. Steel blocks, hardened steel. So we, we did really good. Like we, wow, lots of cobalt. 
we did good. We did good. We're going to have lots of resources. So, I mean, I'm not too concerned about iron at this point, I don't think. Okay. Well, guys, uh, I think we will call it here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go park in the far recess of this space. Now, we are in a PvE area, so I'm just going to move away from where the carrier can respawn and um, do all that sort of stuff. And then, uh, and I don't want it to... Uh, be in its path when it does respawn so there we go and maybe maybe we'll take it out again when it respawns that was a lot of loot that was a lot that was a good score that was a really good score uh that's that would actually you know being able to take out that carrier and, and multi-tool a huge portion of it would have been enough to to build uh, a CV, a jump capable CV for, for somebody, you know, quite, quite easily. Well, guys, uh, if you like the ep episode, like, and subscribe next episode, we will go shoot up more stuff. And cause that's what this series is all about this time. It's about going and shooting up stuff and multi-tooling down bases with these new multi-tool turrets and getting just tons of stuff and also what I was thinking of doing is off camera I'll probably start building a space station somewhere I haven't thought of where yet though um, I don't know I gotta I gotta think about that but I might get the parts going for it with all these plates that I have now I should start building a whole bunch of blocks for it and maybe repair this thing a bit yeah so off camera i'll fix this thing up get some uh get some blocks spawn for a for a base for just a personal base somewhere it's not going to be anything super special uh but it'll be comfortable it's not going to be a castle because this series was not about building so much as it was more about exploring and shooting things so <clears throat> keeping that in mind I might actually put the base in a really tough planet so I'll start getting all the parts made for it we'll get these Omicron quests done and then and then maybe think about going and putting a really nasty base down on Masperon, huh? Because there's a bunch of quests that I got to do on Masperon. So that might be the plan. We'll uh, finish our quest here on Omicron, uh, which let's take a look at that really quick here. So we have delicious green eating Omicron, uh, which is going to be pretty simple collect three things and then that'll be done I don't know if that leads to something else what does it say it does not it's just 20 gold okay uh, elemental enemy we need to kill a desert golem uh, does that lead to anything no okay not afraid of the dark omicron it leads to not afraid of the dark mass brawn. okay Okay, so that's going to be go kill a bunch of creatures. Pretty straightforward. Custom tours. We have to go around and find special POIs. The abandoned mine on Akua, the Titan Wreck Akua. Couldn't find it, which is kind of funny. So it got multi-tooled down is what I thought. We are on multiplayer server, by the way. So I'm not the only one on this server. Uh, abandoned Factory Omicron. Oh, but I have an idea for that. I thought I saw the Titan wreck on Talador when we started. I, I could be wrong, but I think I saw the Titan wreck, and we might be able to get credit for it. 
So we might be able to fly whip over there to uh, Talador, go back to Talador, get credit for that after we do Omicron potentially. Uh, so, and then there's the dangerous space. We just got the trading station. So there's Masperon, Ninguez, and Aestus that we got to get still. Uh, that gets us 40 gold and a whole bunch of Pentaxid refined. So 20 refined Pentaxid. That's okay. 40 gold. Almost costs for the jump. Or almost pays for the jump. Private matters, we need to conquer alien bases. One of them is on Omicron and another Masperon. And then there's the elemental space race. So uh, lots to do here on Omicron. Um, yeah, I mean, it's mostly down on the planet. Although we do have the conquer alien bases. Conquer Xeno base on Omicron. I, I guess we just, any base on Omicron. Destroying the core. Huh. Okay, so that shouldn't be too bad. Uh, the custom tours. Yeah, that's going to be easy. We just find it. Uh, we might actually do the abandoned factory while we're here. That might be, that might be one of the things we do. Because we can multi-tool that down too, and and get a lot of stuff, including including the alien residue stuff to make alien blocks. That would be kind of interesting. Make uh, make alien block base <laughs> or CV. Make a CV out of alien blocks. Uh, so something something to think about. Okay, guys. Well. Uh, next episode, we will go do more stuff. Until then, you guys have an awesome, awesome day.